Okay, all the best. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the uh, Gnanga webinar. Okay, in this webinar, which is Unleash the Tactics of Dissecting Technical Charts, you will learn how you can read charts using or without using indicators. Okay, today our speaker Derek Lee will show you how he reads charts and you can ask him any questions about or any stocks about charting. Okay, now before we proceed further, let me just check with you if you can hear me and see my screen please type yes okay in the chat box if you can hear me okay some people say no sound uh, but majority say yes uh. so if you cannot hear my sound that means that uh your audio connection got issue all right most of you can hear us okay cool and can see us all right welcome to this webinar as usual, you know, the best education in the world is education in your mind. Okay, I'm glad that you attend this webinar brought to you by uh, Kananga, supported by Wellford. Now, my name is Shen Chu. I'm the moderator for this webinar. So in this Unleash the Tactics of Dicing Technical Charts, you will learn about chart things, you will learn how to see charts, and you will find trading opportunities in charts. Today, is not going to be like a, a today is not going to be theory today is all practical so you can ask our speaker any stocks he will dissect for you so today the session is a bit unique in such a way that it is more q and a basis so it's a two-way directions so you can ask the speaker any stock he will dissect for you so now uh if you are if you have joined our webinar before you will notice that right now we have switched to a different webinar platform in the past we use zoom Last year we used go to webinar. This year we use Zoom, but then we heard that a few of you feedback that because of uh, some security concern, so we decided that to switch back to a uh, go to webinar. So this is a new platform. So going forward, we can't stream it to a uh, Facebook Live. So if you want to uh, catch our webinar, please tune in early because we only have a, a maximum capacity of 500 seats. Also tune in early so you can join our webinar because we won't be streaming it live on Facebook. So disclaimer, whatever we share in this webinar is only for uh, case studies. You're 100% responsible for your investment decisions, okay? <laughs> now, this is the last webinar. So in June, there will be another last webinar for Q2, but in Q3, Q4, there will be more webinars, okay? So in Q2, last country webinar in Q2 is the Shine of Miner, which is happening next month on 25th of June. Uh, the speaker, PC Wong, will share with you how to look at the gold and silver mining industry, okay? So without further ado, let me introduce the speaker today who is now online. Uh, his name is Derek Lee. He is known for his passion in inspiring people to learn with his dynamic presentation style. He was a renowned lecturer for several academic institutions and universities, both part-time and full-time positions for almost 20 years. Derek was the former chief market strategist for a local stockbroking firm, providing courses and seminars in stock technical trading skills. At one point of his career, he served as the CEO of a group of companies. Now, he graduated with a bachelor degree in business administration, majoring in advertising and promotional marketing from Western Michigan University, US. He also holds a master of business system uh, specializing in management of technology from Monash University, Australia. Now, I met Derek when I was uh, giving a training in Johor together with him. He was my uh, another speaker. So I bumped into him when I was giving a training in Johor. And then since I attended his training in Johor as a fellow speaker, then I immediately know that I must invite him to uh, the Kananga webinar to share with you his, his uh, idea and his practical strategies in doing charting. So without further ado, let me just hand it over to you, Derek. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm now making you the presenter. Okay. Hi, All good right, evening, cool. everyone. Thank you, Shane. Thank you for the brief uh, presentation and also the uh, introduction. Thank you, Kananga, for the opportunity. To all of you, uh, uh, lastly, thank you for everyone who have attended for today's uh, session. Okay. Uh, it is not new to come up with this kind of a session. Uh, but definitely it's going to be a different experience to all of you. So we're going to dissect the charts. 
uh, that we call out, that you'll be able to call out any stocks that you have in your mind. I'll be able to dissect immediately or instantly without using the indicators. So I'll be able to explain in order to know what we are heading in the future or maybe uh, upcoming days. Okay, so before we start that session, uh, we will take a look at the uh, FBM KLCI uh, to begin with. So FBM KLCI nowadays, you know, the stock market is quite hot. Huh? Uh, yesterday, the volume pick up and, and most, of, most of the people or maybe the investor have been making a lot of money. But where are we now? This is the question. Are we actually break out from all the, the possibilities? Are we actually in the uptrend or we are actually still in the risk zone? So this is uh, something that we need to look at. The FBM KLCI, uh, we look at, we have the high at this level, 18,000, uh, 1800 plus. Uh, we have all these possibilities of the struggle period. You know, currently we are somewhere hovering around somewhere on this area, which is 1400 plus. With the downtrend that we are actually charting downwards, uh, this is something that we are still looking into the area that we are possibly having some difficulties. This downtrend here, let me go towards a closer look. By looking over here, we are, we are actually breaking out from the recent you know, downtrend. You know, there are two types of downtrend that we look at for the short term. This will be another one. And this will be the latest one. From here, you'll be, you'll be able to see most of the stock. Most of the stocks are actually picking up, picking up the momentum, so everything moving upwards. However, it starts to break down a little bit and try to sustain at this level. So from here onwards, you can see we are actually maintaining at 100, one, uh, 1300 level. At this 1300 level to 1400 level, this is actually, we are looking into the possibility of the gaps. In technical studies, we always look into the gaps. You know, in Malaysia, what we like, we like lobang. So we have a lobang here, and we have a big gap around this area. These gaps here, these gaps here, and these are the gaps. With the gaps, it create opportunity. When the opportunity comes, it actually bring up the the momentum. So coming over to this stage, is it cruising upwards? Yes, it is definitely cruising upward, but we are still under this line. Anything that is under this line, we need to take a look very carefully into Malaysia market. That means Malaysia stock market is still quite volatile. Of course, we understand the recent issues with the political uh, turmoil and also the, uh, the country is facing the MCO, now CMCO. With all these possibilities, some counters are moving upwards, some counters are not moving upwards. We look into those counters that we considered, um, you know, the heavyweight companies. Heavyweight companies are trying to revive back to their position. Uh, so are they still there? Yes, you can ask any counters later on and i will try to dissect to you immediately any counters all right um uh, mostly those counters with nice charts huh? uh, those gigi stocks uh, we we are unable to dissect or maybe unable to tell you further because the gigi stock means this is the is actually a side trend so from here we will see today actually there is a little spike out the little spike out on tuesday today is tuesday the Tuesday, we have Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We have three more days to go on. With this later on, three more days, what do you foresee? So maybe Wednesday, tomorrow, you see a little try to try to come down and retrace a little bit. There will be a slight retracement trying to sustain at this 1400 level. Why? Because this has actually created another gap. This gap actually persist whereby there will be a closure closure within these few days or maybe tomorrow maybe thursday maybe friday these few days it may happen so looking into klci index uh fbm klci charts uh, 
we have the opportunity of closing upwards, the best, the best, the premium will be breaking all the possibilities. At which level? It is actually looking into the 1490 or maybe 1500 level. Breaking all 1500 level, that means there is a revival. Uh, then this KLCI index will be moving towards a better solution for our future stocks. Uh, looking into those heavyweight counters, uh, those are the moment the heavyweight counters will be actually coming back. Uh, we are talking about Genting, we are talking about Maybank, we are talking about those Asiata, IOI, all these will be after that. At this moment, maybe they are trying very hard to raise up words, uh, but that requires some time. They need some time. Of course, looking at this, is it possible? Like I mentioned, if there are gaps, that means it creates opportunities. The latest gap that haven't been closed is at this level, which is actually just nicely touched on this 1490. 1490, this gap has not been closed yet. So they are racing towards the area. The best is not to break this line. This is your major cruising uh, support line, I will say. Uh, this trend must sustain. Then only it looks promising. Otherwise, it may not look promised at this moment. So after looking into KLCI index, we need to take a look at the uh, heavyweight counters. Let's take a look at heavyweight counters of FBM T100. So from here, we also can see what it has happened to this uh, KLCI. This is a mirror. It is a mirror, exactly the same, you know. Uh, it's almost identical with the move, of course, because all these are being affected. Uh, affected. Whatever happened in the um, FBM 100, top 100 counters, it will happen towards the, it will affect the KLCI. So the direction is almost identical. See over here, there are a lot of gaps happen around this area. So when you have a lot of gaps, you take a look which one are your considered the nearest gap and the furthest gap that is cruising upwards means that will be racing upwards for the for the upcoming future. All right. If you're looking into this uh, 100 top 100 counters, these top 100 counters, they are moving upwards. The best is to break all these lines. Okay. The best is to break all the line, which is somewhere around at this level, which is 10,576. Okay, breaking all these possibilities, cruising upwards, that means the momentum is coming back. I haven't opened the volume. Let me take a look at the volume. Okay, no volume here. Okay, never mind. So after we look at this uh, 100, what are the possibilities that has been cruising upwards lately? Let's take a look at FPM 70. The mid caps, the, the mid 70s. See what happened? It is cruising upward as well. But is this something that we consider um, a safe, safe play? You know, uh, some people may ask. You know, 70. These mid caps are they sustainable at this moment? I would say, uh, let's take a look. Very subjective, huh? uh, we wanted to know whether this is able to, to raise further. We need this line. Or this line is to justify whether the growth are actually valid. For the moment, it is cruising upwards. So it looks intact, it looks nice. So all these FBM mid-70 counters are actually in the watch. Okay, in the watch. But what are the possibilities here? Let's take a look here. The possibilities are there are many holes, many gaps that is actually in this area. So, which means that technical are very weird. Some people may ask, Derek, why must they close the gap? Uh, I do not know how to explain that, but it's the nature of the charts. You know, that's the nature. So, it's just like the question asking, Derek, why do people need to use air to breathe and to survive? 
I do not know how to answer that also because I'm a human being, I need air. So this thing, you, you have a low bang, you have a you have a gap over there, you need to fill up the gap. But of course, in technical schools, there are four types of gaps. You, know, you can actually explore into that. These gaps are considered the common gaps that you can actually look into the potential in this short run, uh, maybe one month to two months, we'll be able to close all the gaps. And cruising towards this area is quite close. Why? Because it's not very far from it. It's about 13,000 13, 13, level. 13,000 level to close this gap, you are still here. You actually have further up here, you know, which is 13,860. So there are more potential for the mid caps, more Malaysia counters. Mid caps are considered in the watch as well. Let's take a look at the uh, small cap. The small cap. Where are we now? You see, these are cruising upwards. So this is no slightly that we are not link, looking at it uh, with the recent and with this one and with the steepest downtrend. Then we are able to gauge. You know, this level we will be able to gauge. You see where is it cruising upwards? Okay. Now, we also see a gap here. There is a formation of gaps at these two areas, over here and over here. All the gaps are seemingly being covered up over here. And there is a nice uptrend upward. With this nice trend upward, you won't be able to see any issues with regards to this level, 1400, at 14,598, this level should have no problem at all because it's closing soon. Yeah, it's closing soon. So you can actually depict it is almost can be able to rally somewhere around this area. So looking into Malaysia stocks, yes, it's trying to recover back. They are trying so hard to recover back. And thanks to all of you who have been investing in this market. We are trying to recover back. So more and more people are investing into stock markets. You know, everywhere you go, people will be asking what counters you're buying. Uh, lately, there are some hot, hot counters uh, been raising on the air. People are asking, you know, this counter can buy, that counter can buy, can we buy uh, the bottom fishing? This is the time. If you don't, if you miss out this time, probably this is the time that you miss out the cheapest price. Now, this is what I, I would say. But in technical view, it is a different story. Technical view means we look at the charts. It has not come back to the safest yet, but it is breaking out. It's breaking out. For these small caps, you see small caps have been rallying upwards since when? Since March 18. Oh, since March 18, when the MCO has been implemented, it recovered back. This is the key reversal point. From the key reversal point of late, especially today, we have this formation. Uh, this formation actually gives you an allowance of Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to have this formation here in order to have a peak. Breaking out this level maybe next week, then you're cruising upwards. This is going to be quite strong indeed. Okay, this is going to be quite strong. Eh? So small caps are actually one of the areas that most of the fast trader, you know, fast trader, your short-term trader, this is the counters that you can look at. For those people who are looking into mid and long term, then may, most likely mid 70 and top 100 is your choice. Uh, furthermore, let's take a look at FPM ACE. ACE market, a lot of people love the ACE market. Why? Because during the MCO started uh, for these two months, it has been going upwards. Small counters are moving upwards, rally, rarely, very, very rapidly. So people be making a lot of money. People be talking about it. A lot of people be opening a account, trying to learn something that, that they don't have in the market. Okay, is this something that what I see? You know, you you still find there are gaps around here. Gaps, gaps, gaps. Oh, find all the gaps is the fun job, you know, because the gaps will be able to tell you where are the possibilities. 
uh, with these gaps over here, it gives you the possibilities that it's cruising upwards. See what where it is like now. At this moment, it's cruising upwards toward this level. So this is a nice formation, uh, nice retracement going upwards, and then it's moving, it's cruising towards this 5600 level. Okay, at this level, consider that the bullish is the most bullish or maybe the most active counters that you can see from the moment of MCO are mostly ace counters. Okay, ace counters. Struggling counters that you can see is probably the FBM KLCI index counters, or we call it the 30 counters, the heavyweight player, and also the top 100 counters. Mid 70s in the mid air, they are actually moving upwards. So there's no collision. Everything looks nice. They are moving upwards, uh, trying to recover their position. Ace market and small cats are the one that are actually raising upwards. So these are the overview of the FBM KLCI that some people may have questions. Uh, further, we move, we, let's move further in. During this period, what sector consider the performing sector? You know, maybe some people may ask, uh, which counters are considered okay? You know, there are many counters. How do we define? Uh, some of the industry are doing quite well. So then what industry of late? Uh, let's take a look at telecommunications. Telecommunication, see the way of the form formation, it is actually cruising upwards, especially on this day. This is actually on the 30th, 30th, uh, 20th of March, 19th of March, 20th of March. So immediately after MCO being imposed, the technical stocks, uh, the telecommunication stocks are actually rising upwards. Uh, so we can see here, are they actually at the peak now? At, are we actually at the peak now? Uh, so are you still looking into the potential of these counters? I would say mm, maybe you are a little bit too late to look into telecommunication at this moment. So this one, you already have a breakout and already touched the top. Uh, is it the furthest? Not yet. The furthest is here. So the nice resistance at 729 level serve as the resistance there. So today, with the opening over there at 729.2, it dropped all the way down to 600 plus. Uh, that actually tells you that it has a formation of bearish engulfing towards the next, the last two days. So which means last Friday and Yesterday's stocks market on these telecommunication counters are actually wall up, all everything being taken off. So you have to trade carefully, especially in the telecommunications counters at this juncture, at this moment. So you may ask, so telecommunication is out of the picture or maybe not as active as previously. What other possibilities? Let's take a look at healthcare. Healthcare, see, oh, you can see very clearly from here is spike up. So healthcare has the best performance of all as compared to telecommunications, as compared to the other sectors. Later we name it out. Uh, from here, you can actually see that we draw a line. Let's draw a line here. You draw a line. From here, you will be able to diagnose it went all the way up. Since when? On this day, it's actually similar. 20th of March. So on 20th of March, let me take a look closer. On 20th of March, this counter, uh, this, this healthcare in the sector uh, went all the way upwards until when it reached towards the uh, 8th of May, then it spiked up. So during this sector here, are, are we still actually in the bullish? Um, if it relates to the uh, healthcare counters, the stock counter itself, if the price is still undervalued, you, it's a nice try for fundamental. Technical, let's look at the chart. Oh, be subjective enough to tell what it is, but be objective when you read the chart. Be objective to read the chart means what? When we look at the chart, what we want, we don't want stock, we want money. We think that's the reason you're here today, right? We want money. 
I don't love stock, I love money. Technical must have this kind of mindset. If you love the stock, then you cannot really. Uh, that's a different story. Uh, so when you look at into healthcare, healthcare is already spiked up, it already break all the possibilities, it's already on the high side. The value to buy is actually on the high side. And so technical, there's a saying. Do not buy the high if you do not know where's the height. Okay, this is still intact. We must understand in our market which one still points the potential. I'm not asking whether you must be loving healthcare companies. No, we are looking into the possibilities where we can earn the money. So let's take a look where else can give us this kind of opportunities. Then those sector that is performing also considered transportation and logistics is cruising upwards. Let's look. From here, uh, let's pick this one as one of the judgment. You don't see much of the low bang eh, in, in other in the, those previous two, but here I, we can see one. We can see one over here, which is quite nicely done. There are quite potential, and there is a level at 700 over, which means that these are the potential. You know the potential for logistic company that you can actually look at potential for logistic transportation logistics see is cruising upwards similar it is also on the 20th of march cruising upward towards here of course today's chart is over here uh, today's bar is over here you have wednesday thursday friday to see a breakout so take a look at those uh, transportation companies are they still have the opportunity most likely of the transportation they still have the opportunity still healthcare i don't see much uh, i don't see much on healthcare telecommunication is almost the end there uh, but this one still have the real potential so logistic and transportation is something that there's a sector that something that you can actually take a look okay apart from that what else let's take a look at construction construction sector here we are it is almost similar to the uh, transportation and logistic uh, let's take a look at the levels of plot in a nice way it happened that i talked too fast or you have any questions uh you let shane know eh? because i won't be able to see all right so over here let's take a look it has break out the possibilities there are a lot of holes and the gaps over here there's a gaps here uh, we have gaps here and we have gaps here so all these gaps have been covered up we need to know when it can reach over here by looking at it most likely there is a decision making for tomorrow if the chart is going to fall below here then most likely this will be a retreatment for at least one and a half week if tomorrow you see there's an opening going upwards then you see the potential but i was reckon this one most likely will be next week it will be happening this week uh, because there is a star formation we, we call this as a star formation uh, if you are quite um, good in your you know candlesticks as a star formation which we are not looking into very promising for this week but next week will be better is it potential for construction that one based on the individual counters itself at this moment we look at it uh, we don't see any threats uh, apart from that we also look at technology technology Okay, technology over here at this juncture we have already closed the gap you know all the possible gaps already closed especially here and here the largest opportunities you know what else in from here you can see the you know the momentum seems to change of course from technology into the different sector 
most likely because of uh, the recent spike of oil and gas, or maybe the uh, transportation and logistic, maybe the revival of the market. Uh, construction seems to be a little bit more in active in actions. So these are the counters that you should actually take a look, see whether the sector of this in this sector, these counters are performing or not performing. So uh, these are most likely we look at um, that are actually considered performing and looking into the positions for you. Uh, there are more. There are more consumer products. They have industrial uh, products, property, plantation, REITs, um, you name it, utilities. Uh, there are much more, but I would say these are the giants mover for the market at this moment. Uh, let's take a look, see, open, we open to the floor, whether you have any questions that you need to dissect the chart or any counters that you have in mind, we will explore and we will diagnose one by one. Any questions that you have? Yeah, there are many questions already <laughs> on, on the chart. Yeah. Huh? So, <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah, sure. cool. So let's, let's, can you study this company called HT Padu? Sure, HT Padu 5028. Okay. Let me draw the chart first, huh? then I will be able to dissect clearly on what we will, what, what is going to happen these few days. Yeah, by the way, Derek is using mm. Chatness's platform. It is also available. Chart analysis is available on Kenanga Kentrip platform. Okay, I'm sure if you're a mm. client, you will notice that you can find this live price feed on the Kentrip platform. Okay, HD Padu. If we were to look at this counter, this counter there are potential. Okay, for those people who have asked these counters, uh, let's take a look whether the volume is sustainable. The volume looks very good, especially if we see this spike over here. It is sustain sustainable, and we see there are potential like gaps that I mentioned earlier. There are many gaps that they have closed up. So these gaps are actually the value gaps. So look at today. Look at today. What we have done. This fellow is closing up this gap. So closing up this gap, what will happen within these few days? Uh, let's take a look further. If we were to look into this counter, uh, we go further in. If you look into this counter, any price open tomorrow at 110, somewhere around this price range and move upwards, these are considered uptrend. Okay, but most likely, most likely, uh, I'm going to disappoint you a little bit. Uh, most likely tomorrow, it may not go upward. It may be somewhere around here, which is actually at the closing price, 113, and then maybe somewhere around here at 109. It will be somewhere around this position, we call it Harami. The formation of tomorrow, because it's Wednesday, I will not tell you why Wednesday, but Wednesday, because tomorrow is Wednesday, so most likely it will come down at around this level, one one something. It's not, it will not have any harm. It is nicely done. I prefer it to come down. I prefer. You know, if you don't come down, I I a little bit afraid. You know, you're too strong. You are too aggressive. Counters must come down a little bit. You have a pit stop. Like, you know, when you talk, what you need to do, you must drink some water. You need a stop. So this one, you need to come down a little bit. By coming down towards 110109, the lowest I can let it come down is somewhere around at this level, which is 103. You know, you can come down at 103, but I doubt it will come down at 103. Tomorrow is somewhere around 110109. Thursday, Friday, yes. It may come down all the way to 103, 104, 105. And then, if it come down to that level, next week will be a potential for you know for for your focus. Uh, you know, you, you if you wanted to see any more chances to rally next week, this one will be the better one. Tomorrow, you most likely will be more on retracement value. You know, 
Remember, if tomorrow open somewhere around 113 or 112, moving upward, that means they are very aggressive. Try not to chase. Lah. There are much more better ones. Uh, don't chase. If you are holding these stocks, then you can hold until 125. Uh, that is a good good holding power. But if you if you want if you want to look for another second chance opportunity, you know in technical trading, if you want to trade fast, sell, come down, buy in again, 125, come up. Uh, that would be better. I think this will be um, lowering down your risk in technical aspects. Okay, I hope I answer your questions. Any more questions on the other okay. than HD Faru? Yeah. yeah, so many. Okay, can you look at yeah. uh, eco vets? Uh? Many eco, eco vets. Uh? Yeah. Yeah, so, because today, right? Uh, <laughs> okay, let's take a look at eco vets. Uh. Um, first, let me draw the chart first, and then you'll be able to dissect immediately. By the way, if you like this kind of session, uh, uh you say yes to shane then next time you will have more of this session with kananga all right okay uh, let's take a look here pull this chart down we have seen the recent spike there is a spike you know breakout we can see the potential there are much more potential up here that means 75 cents is almost a definite almost a definite we will not say very definite uh, but the trade today may not look very nice because of the shift of the with the shift of the volume the volume doesn't look very nice uh, the, the, the formation of the chart also doesn't look so good but i would say there are potential okay ego vest if you were to look at tomorrow tomorrow we must open high okay Today they close down here, somewhere around 50 over cents. Um, today closing is about is about 56 cents. If tomorrow open at 58 cents, moving upwards, closing at maybe about 65 cents, then there is a potential. But most likely because tomorrow is Wednesday, so it could be somewhere around this range also. 658 to 65 cents range. I would say more accurately will be somewhere around here let me one second it will be somewhere around here which is at about 61 cents uh, tomorrow will be somewhere around 61 cents then lowering down 56 around here it may go all the way down towards which level this counter will probably be around 53 cents if 53 cents this counter is it good that's the question to me is still in the supporting line okay no need to worry about this counter with the 53 cents with the recent drop okay why because there is a retracement look at over here the period here you allow about three to four days or maybe five days this five days range let it retrace downwards retrace away around 53 cents with four cents see whether there is a potential of breaking out if there is a potential of breaking out then this counter will be good however However, it is still a risky counter. Why? Because these and these that you join together, you are still risky. But it is actually out of the range. Out of the range, saying that here and here, forming this downtrend is already out of the range. You can play freely. You can play freely, but it's still dangerous zone. That means that this person is probably out from the ICU, but you're still in the hospital, huh? So if you're still in the hospital, maybe you still need some care, you know, so careful when you trade this counter. 75 cents will be probably one of the highest top that I would say. At this short term, maybe somewhere around next month, uh, this is the, the price range I will look at that I will call it a stop. Uh, then breaking out the 75, you look into the next level like next level. Uh, I will not go aggressively with this counter at this moment, but you can actually monitor his movement if you haven't entered this counter good then you probably need it to come down to 53 see whether there is a break within next week so these few days you don't see any wonders if you see wonders that means a little bit scary no wonders for this counter for these three days next monday you see there is a spike 56 cents and 58 cents and above you can go for it 
All right. So this will be the counter that you can actually trade for short term. Why? Because first, it probably can come back, come back to this level as it's five cents. Second, there is a great possibility that it will come back here. Great possibility, but not definite. As long as it doesn't break this line. So how to define this line? You draw this line here, draw all the way up here, touching this, and then draw up here to be one of your gauge. If this line is not break, that means you are in the game. Okay, so this is Ecovest. Any more questions regarding others? Yes, can you hmm. look at Kosan? Ah, this counter. <laughs> yeah, there are many Kosan, Supermax, right. Kepler, Kepler. <laughs> yeah. I, I think we'll just, look at one club stock, we'll just look at one club stock, okay? Let's just okay, 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 okay. Uh, okay. They are almost many. the same. I almost identical, huh? Supermax. Yeah, almost, uh, uh, you know, they are, they are forming this kind of uh, charts. Mm, you know, whenever you have a new high, let's take a look what you mean by new high. Uh. You know, if you are in the Kananga chart analysis, uh, then it is better than my chart, you see. Because my chart is a free chart analysis. Free, uh, lao yao, uh. That means uh, I, I don't pay for it. I use this to draw for leisure. So you see, from here, this is actually three years data. I don't have the 10 years data. So it's three years data. From three years data, you can see, this is actually the peak, the high, the highest of the high, you know. So it's already a Everest mountain. So when you are at the peak of Everest mountain, what will you feel? Scary, right? Very windy also. Uh, so uh, I'm a bit concerned about this high. I don't really look into the new high most likely uh, because, like I said, you don't trade the high if you do not know the height. Okay, let's take a look at this counter first. Moving upwards with this chart here, nicely touched, I can dissect what is going to be tomorrow. Never mind. Let's take a look at it. The highest is actually at 7 ringgit 90 cents. What we want to know is whether tomorrow it can sustain at this level. Okay, let's pull closer. If tomorrow your chart is actually opening at 7 ringgit and 58 cents, or maybe 7 ringgit at maybe 7 ringgit at 60 cents or 58, uh, if within this level and above, you're looking good. Okay, you're looking good. That means most likely you will have a second chance to touch the 7 ringgit and 90 cents. In order to pull this counter down, in order to pull this counter down, uh, not so easy eh, because it went up quite sharp. Uh, to pull this counter down, you need another formation. What we call is actually like that. You know, when up, come down, go all the way up, break, come down, up again, then come down. You need this kind of formation. And this formation is called the uh, head and shoulder in technical aspects. Head and shoulder. So if they were to break this line tomorrow, I would not worry if you're in the in the in the game. Why? Because there will be a technical rebound. Technical, not a rebound totally. Why? Because if there is a technical rebound, it may probably just touch base somewhere around at 7 ringgit 50 cents. That's all, then they will pull down back. That will be the key reversal point. Make your downtrend intact and pull you down. So, not so soon. Okay. Now, let's take a look tomorrow. If tomorrow your price is 7 ringgit and 58 cents and below, below, that means this counter is coming down. Okay, it's a little bit scary. Why? There are gaps here. The gaps formations are around this area. Okay, the gaps formation. But the whole thing looks very, very intact. It is still very intact. This one is still in the picture. You know, it's still in the game. That means that this counter are actually fundamental, very, very good. Uh, of course, because this is a glove counter or rubber counter, whatever, healthcare counters, uh, that is pushing upwards, all these counters going upwards. So Kosan is one of it. I would say if you are in this counter, you haven't get out, 
maybe it's time it's time look at others if you haven't gone in uh, then don't <laughs> don't don't try to go in because it's already very high uh, you use helicopter to go out there no problem but you were to hide up then difficult uh, because it's actually at the peak can you come back i would not gamble this if tomorrow seven ringgit 58 cents above come out okay come out come out when the time it go up don't come out when the time it come down don't buy in when the time it go up buy in when the time that is coming down and break out uh, then that is the method you know you don't go all the way high then you jump in you jump in you sure jalan because uh the the high is too high for you to gauge i remember yesterday someone asked me about a counter you know uh, they i i told him i said why are you buying this counter he said oh because i jump in uh this counter is very good very bullish i make some money already or well, yesterday you jump in then jalan today you must throw you never throw you 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 will die inside that hey he said, no, 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 I will not throw because the price that I buy, I don't earn much. That's the key word. I don't earn much. In the end, today, pop. So careful with these kind of counters. Kosan is one of it. Almost something like that. So careful. If tomorrow, 7 ringgit and 58 cents and below, most likely it will come down to this level. 7 ringgit and 15 cents or 17 cents. Okay, it may come down to this level. Is it still in the game? My answer is yes, it's still in the game. I didn't say it cannot because I said you need another formation. One, two, three. And with this technical rebound, it could probably tell you, it could probably tell you within these few days, maybe today is Tuesday, you have Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, to see whether any indication if friday your price is somewhere around here if your price is somewhere seven and get 30 cents next week boom it's going to go up somewhere around seven and get 58 cents again or maybe seven and get 55 cents somewhere around there okay so these are the price range we are looking at uh, from there onwards will it push up or not uh, most likely uh if the pandemic is going to continue uh then this one will probably rally upwards it's hard to say you know it could probably rally upwards but i do not risk most of the time i don't play risk so i always come down my risk as low as possible possibility zero this that's the best i confirm i sure i think sure that you will go up now that is the level that i wanted you to explore explore further what are the potential this one a little bit high risk so you can monitor you can take a look if you're not out yet most likely this is a chance rip your profit keep inside your pocket look for others okay Kosan, don't be angry also huh? i'm only telling you the facts okay any more counters okay yeah there are, there are, there are just too many questions too many stocks <laughs> for, for us to look at so we will uh, just okay. avoid because we only have limited amount of time, so we so will mm. avoid all the gloves and PPE related stocks. Uh -huh. So, mm -hmm. because I think their behavior, their market behavior is almost similar. So, let, let's go mm. to another. Now, just now we have covered glove, right? So, let's talk about uh, Condom, Carex. <laughs> okay, I like this counter. I don't use Condom, but I like this counter. <laughs> okay, let's take a look here. I always love this kind of counter. Why? From the top, fall down, then suddenly try to come back. Ah, this is the best. You need to find this kind of counter. Don't find the kind of counter went all the way very high already. You know, I'm a little bit scared, uh, you know. Uh, scared in the sense that you are actually climbing all the way up to the mountain. Then you from, from that view, you see, you don't see yourself. You only see the, the, the scenery, which is quite scary uh, from the top from the top so Carex, uh so much fun about this com this company um condom i do not know why they are performing at this pandemic issue see there is a recent breakout this recent breakout has already formed the validity of it why let me explain there are two things first 
there is a breakout with the retracement. There is a retracement here and then breakout again. From this retracement breakout, it break new high towards this short term. So that means there is a breakout of this 50 cents level. Moving towards 61 cents. 61 cents cover it back, then retracement again. So this is very, very potential. Very potential. Huh? And then secondly, we take a look at the volume. The volume is very good. You look at the volume. Wow. Very, very nice. Uh, let's take a look at the hole here. You know, there's a gap. Uh, there are also gaps. So these gaps are already closed. Uh, no more game in your gaps. But let's take a look what will be tomorrow like. Most likely, Wednesday, Thursday, or maybe these few days, you, you, this will be probably Thursday. Huh? Uh, let's keep our finger crossed. Uh, try not to be so accurate sometimes, huh? otherwise we'll be in trouble. Uh, tomorrow will be somewhere around here. Let it drop, let it drop. I prefer if it doesn't drop, let me, let me say it will be somewhere around 56 cents all the way down to maybe 53 cents and a half. Okay, somewhere around here. Then you will see Thursday, shoot, shoot, going up. You know, 61 cents, more than 61 cents, that is possibly be. I'm looking into this counter for Thursday and Friday game rather than next week. Uh, next week, I don't think so. Most likely tomorrow will give you some indication. If you see the formation, oh yes, tomorrow, uh, if the formation open at this level, at this level, 50, 56 cents or 54 cents, somewhere around here, 53 to 55 cents, that is the best. That is the best. Thursday onwards, you can still see somewhere around 54 cents and 55 cents. Super good. That is the range you see the opportunity. Um, okay, then happy. Everybody smart. That is something about Rx. How long more can you go? No, you can still see very, very long. Carex is for you to sustain in the market and in the pleasure so you can sustain quite long okay that will be correct any more others all right so let's let's go to oil and gas sector can you look at dayang kananga hmm. kananga investors are quite expert into all these huh? uh dayang see <laughs> you know dayang there are gaps here there are gaps here you know these big gaps here formation here another gaps so it tells you that there are a lot a lot of possibilities a lot a lot of opportunities as well let's take a look here you know uh this is the level that you can look at your targets your targets Okay, this will be your target price. The, the most recent target price that you can actually aim for will be somewhere around there. This one, I'm not too worried about this level. Most, most likely will be down here. Okay, here. Yep, Danyang is cruising upwards. The formation looks very nice with this double top. Don't need to worry because this one is actually coming down. I don't really like the volume. The volume is not there yet. Oh, so this one, most likely, you need to be careful on the volume. But not much transactions that you can see in this counter, most likely because uh, it's still some something very, very, uh, not very concrete, eh? not very concrete, but actually it's moving upwards. The best thing to look at is actually here. If tomorrow, you're looking into one ringgit and most likely tomorrow until Friday. This will be next week, next week counters. Uh, tomorrow you will not see any game. Um, most likely will be next week. Hope my, uh, keep my finger crossed. Tomorrow it will come down again. You will retrace. So you will retrace somewhere around at one ringgit and 43 cents below until one ringgit and 30 cents or maybe one ringgit and 33 cents these are considered quite normal which is okay which is okay let it come down first when you come down around this one ringgit and 33 cents or 32 cents on friday push up then next monday will be the marking point so next monday we're looking around maybe one ringgit and 38 cents 
this is your potential. If one ringgit and 38 cents and above next Monday, you know, this is your chance. Okay, Dayang, this is the potential for the short term, not the long term. Okay, be aware that where is the stopping point? Okay, the stopping point could be somewhere around maximum. Don't be too greedy. A 214, 215 level is probably your highest imagination and fantasy that you can have. More than that, don't lie. Huh? Because even though you have two holes up there, those are small holes, this is a bigger hole. Uh, so we meant love holes. So let's take a look at two ringgit and 50 cents. That gap has to be close. That close means you're very, very good. Uh, let's cruising around that area. At this moment, uh, these counters are potential for Dayang. Uh, cruising upwards, very nicely done. Uh, it's just the beginning. Uh, looking at the out, the breakout maybe will be forming, forming on Monday. Monday will be your, your potential time. Any others? Hmm, okay. Yeah, I guess there are still so many questions, so you just keep the uh, keep yeah. to the essence okay, of the analysis. How about another oil and gas like Charimin? Charimin. Okay, looking at this counter, let's compare to Dayang. Okay, let's take a look at Dayang and this counter. What are the difference? This counter, I like because you have the volume. The volume is there. What I don't like, I don't like you are still in the ICU. You know, still breathing in the oxygen mask. Okay, let's take a look here. You have a hole, you have a gap, you have a gap everywhere. Uh, so there is a potential. The gaps potentially will close somewhere around here, which is one ringgit level, 105, most likely. Uh, over here, you will also see at one ringgit, you will try to achieve, but can they actually sustain to that level? Most likely, this volume that chip in are actually trying to help to push upwards. Okay, trying to push upwards. Recently, at this 80 cents, this is not the resistance level. The resistance level is actually somewhere around here at 73 and a half cents. So we see what is going to happen for the next few days. The next few days will be somewhere around here. This also maybe next Monday. Oh, this will be next Monday. There, there is a gap here, but this gap, I'm not worried. Okay, and then tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, most likely it will drop somewhere around 71 cents. Okay, if it drop until 71 cents, fret not. No need to worry much. It will come out. It will come out somewhere around at maybe 74 cents, 75 cents and above for next week. Then this counter is considered potential. So you look, if you haven't buy this counter, maybe 75 cents is something that you can actually look at. You know, maybe one ringgit is somewhere, you, know, you, you have to call it off. Uh, this is, will be something that you want it to play around with. Uh, this will be some uh, a, a good strategy. But somehow, some people don't like to use that strategy. You know, they don't like. So what they do, you see the gap here, because this is a big gap, some people like to play. Let's be confirmed. La. Confirm, confirm. Don't want to be guessing. 89 cents, I break, I buy. Buy already. During this gap, close, I end my story. Can or not? Can, right? Uh, so 90 cents to one ringgit is about 10 cents gain. 10 cents. How many bits already? You know, this is a good gain. Uh, so that would be the level if you want to have a zero risk. Uh, if you want to have a little bit of risk, this risky zone at this moment, uh, here I don't see any big risk. Thursday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, jump up on next Monday. Next Monday, somewhere around 75 cents above. This is a good catch. Uh, this will be a big fish for the short term. Okay, Jeremy, this is the counter to that side. And what's next? Yep. So the next question is can you look at technology counters such as? Two full. Okay, two full. 
like I said just now, uh, technology counters is something that you can actually uh, um, uh, okay. Let's take a look at technology counters. Huh? Do food, we are actually touching the top. Now let's take a look at the whole picture. You see, you know, more data needed. That means you need to pay to have more. Kananga, I don't think so. You did that, so you can see everything on site. So here, four ringgit and eighty-one cents, or maybe four ringgit and eighty-two cents, are actually at the peak of the price. Uh, I would suggest that uh, most people who look into these counters, this is the time that actually you can look for an exiting plan. Uh, try to exit if possible. There, are, there isn't any much strong um volumes to support this counter not much at this moment because the counters doesn't seem to have a lot of volume thrown into these counters uh, most likely because these are uh, four ringgit counters but of course he has been rarely upwards with this double top formation careful it may break it may break huh? so i was think i i would gauge that most likely it will break on wednesday tomorrow so if tomorrow you see the formation that the price tipped down to four hundred and sixty cent, uh, that means this counter is a little bit danger. It's not going to move upwards. But how far along the way it can come down? Okay, let's take a look closer. If four hundred and sixty cents and below for Wednesday, maybe about four hundred and fifty cents, that means during this spike here, it's gone. It's gone, eh? so most likely I will not look into this counter. It's already gone. But here, do we still intact? Yes. Here we still have the intact. Your final defense somewhere around at three ringgit and ninety cents. This will be your final defense. So if you break until three hundred three ringgit and ninety cents, that means this counter is most likely coming downwards, forming a true downtrend. Okay, that is a key reversal of all. Uh, from here already that will be the key reversal there will be another formation of a head and shoulder it will stop somewhere around here four ringgit and 30 cents then coming downwards so i would say if you hold this counter if you can try to exit as soon as possible if you can uh, uh, if you haven't buy this counter we have a better ones if you wanted to see that is a potential or not let's say i would really like this counter so much so much i love this counter uh, let's take a look if you were to drop until this four again and 50 cents let me tell you this gate is almost gone okay three ringgit 90 cents if you were to cruise downward that means this counter is not strong anymore okay uh, so this is too full technology anymore Okay, yeah. Uh, let's let's do a super dynamic. Super, super dynamic. Super dynamic. Huh? No, super, oh. super, super. Oh, super. Okay. Oil, oil and gas uh, company. Okay, this one, huh? Okay, let's take a look here. Over here, there is also some potential. For the uptrend, there are actually gaps. Okay, I, I use gaps to explain so that you, you, in the layman terms, it's easy for you to find gaps rather than anything. You see, this counter went all the way up. I believe that you asked this question, this counter, because you're holding it. Uh, do not know whether you want to give up or not. If you are haven't buying, then this counter don't look at it yet at this moment. Uh, because it's still on the risky zone. Why I say risky zone? From here to here, you can see this line. This is a downtrend line. From this downtrend line, you can see it is actually still in the ICU unit. Mm, this one, not good. Huh? Not good. Uh, 2 ringgit and 23 cents is at the level of the gap. Um, I'm not sure whether they have ability to push up there yet. Not yet. Huh? But um based on looking at the at the growth most likely they are trying to reach uh, on this two ringgit and eight cents uh, around here with maybe two ringgit and ten cents two one zero um forming of this chart we call it you know ascending triangle but ascending triangle it may break at any time 
So let's take a look, see whether tomorrow any possibility is here. If tomorrow this counter were to open somewhere around here from 1 ringgit 87 cents and closing somewhere around 1 ringgit 80 cents, you are considered okay. Any break of 1 ringgit 80 cents, which I see there are potential because of this hole here, uh, there are potential, then this counter a bit side trend. Or I would say this counter a bit side trend. Um, if you haven't buy, look at others potential. If you already bought, uh, try to see whether you can reach up to this level at one ringgit eighty seven cents tomorrow. If you have come out, if you're in losing position, uh, then you can take a look and maybe pray hard. This counter can move all the way or cruise upwards to what two ringgit and ten cents. Let's call it off. Let's call it off somewhere around that area. If this counter can break somewhere around two ringgit and ten cents over the next two weeks next two weeks two ringgit and ten cents and then you see the potential to two ringgit and 40 over cents okay so this one will require some time this week not much activities it may cruise down it will cruise down uh, then next week possible it will break somewhere around 81 ringgit and 87 cents or running at 85 cents and above uh, next week then it's considered not bad if not come down all the way okay any more Okay, can you look at the uh, tech company Penta? Sure. Penta. Uh, okay. Uh, let's be fact here. Despite whatever formation of the chart, if you see this guy here, you know the red color toy, uh, this this clown. Uh, that means it's not a very good sign. Okay, Penta, it's not a very good sign with this with this high tower here. Okay, let's see. First, let's pull this one upwards, pull this guy over here, pull this one over here, over here. Okay, there is a gap. Most likely, this Penta counters will try to move towards the. It will raise somewhere around four ringgit and ninety five cents. It will raise up to that level. Um, four ringgit, four four ringgit ninety. I would say four ringgit eighty seven cents to be precise. I'm sorry for that. Four ringgit eighty seven cents. Okay, this will be the safest value. Um, tomorrow, how it will react? Let's take a look. If tomorrow the range of the price fall in between this range, huh? tomorrow it is the price somewhere around four ringgit twenty eight cents to four ringgit and forty four cents. You are in my position. Okay, you are in my position. Most likely it will be somewhere around there. Most likely. Thursday, Friday, same. Okay, same. Thursday, Friday, it could be different a little bit. Maybe four ringgit and thirty cents, or maybe four ringgit and thirty-five cents. Uh, four ringgit and forty-four cents or forty-five cents. Maybe somewhere around there. Okay. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, it could be around here. Maybe Friday, it will go up a little bit. Go up a little bit mean, means it can go a little bit higher than four ringgit and forty-five cents. That is a good sign. Okay. If that happens, Monday again okay, will be the game to go all the way up to four and gain eighty-seven cents. Okay, Monday will be the game. For this week, most likely I prefer it to come down. What if tomorrow it went up? What if then you good luck? <laughs> most likely it will not luck. It will be somewhere around here. Uh, so try to be good, boy. Follow my instructions this week. Come down nicely. Don't be too greedy. Next Monday, I see you spike up towards the four ringgit and eighty-seven cents. That would be the uh, technical dissect for this panda. Any others? Okay. Yeah. Let, let's do the hot topic for the day. Uh, green packet. <laughs> uh, this is the one that I mentioned yesterday towards this person. 
Uh, this person actually, uh, you know, uh, don't know what to say. <laughs> uh, it's a hot topic for the last Friday. Yeah, yeah. You know, I, 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 I like this counter. I'm in the game, but uh, luckily, um, those people who follow and and you know, we, we we are able to know what happened. You know, this this counter, I actually managed to come up fast. You know, at this level. Uh, if you are able to exit fast, uh, the timing is an issue for you to earn money. Now, it doesn't look good. Okay, let, let's see, let's see. Some people may have a different thinking on this counter, uh, but let's look at technical first. The highest it can go, uh, maybe one again, 65 cents on today, you have the price one ringgit is five cents uh one ringgit and 49 uh for one ringgit 50 cents uh, one ringgit and 50 cents will be your price that you call it off that will be my ceiling price we we'll say anything above one ringgit and 50 cents is very very dangerous uh, why because of yesterday yesterday from here to here the tail uh, the tail i will take half of it half 50%. With this 50%, you'll be able to see that, okay, this is the one I want to call it off. I don't want any more. If you don't come out at 150, uh, you are in danger. So today, just nice, open at 150, then shoot upwards, then come down all the way to 102 closing. Uh, we can see very clearly this is uh, actually a bearish engulfing, uh, but in the technical, it looks very nice. You see, it's stop here, just stop here at 102. Uh, with a little leg over here at 101. Uh, means that I'm telling for those people who try to be very smart in technical saying that, hey, you see, I'm still within the range. But hey, a booter also can see like, what you're trying to play. Huh? So tomorrow and Thursday and Friday, what will happen? With this kind of formation, you will create a selling force. You know, people are panicked. People are afraid. Maybe some people, they say, oh, let's wait for another chance. So the volume will not be so high as today. So tomorrow, you probably can see it, it is somewhere around here. It could be somewhere around here. Or it can go further down. We are not sure. If it go further down, it can drop all the way to 92 and a half. If you drop to 92 and a half, end of story. Okay. Uh, G packet will be end of story. So it cannot drop further than 102 tomorrow so tomorrow the lowest price for this counter should be at one oh something what is that something it will be at 105 and above anything above below 105 106 and below this counter is no longer intact okay it will create a descending triangle by creating this descending triangle this counter is going to come down Come down, then what will happen? Like I say, every counter, you have a drop, a steepest drop, uh, then what will happen? You create another arm that will have a formation of shape, uh, head and shoulder. So you wait for the technical rebound. Technical rebound most likely will piss stop somewhere around at one ringgit and 20 cents. If your price is below that level, then your concern is there. What's next? So if tomorrow you see your potential counters uh, hovering around 13 to 102, 105, uh, that means you are still there in the picture. This week, they will not wall up you. Uh, Thursday, Friday, you are still somewhere around here. Next Monday, see whether there is a potential or not. Next Monday. Uh, next Monday, if you break somewhere around at this level, maybe at 1 ringgit and 25 cents and above, then there is a potential potential until at this level we call it at one of one ringgit 45 cents that will be it uh, but unlikely uh, this counter will come down this week next week also most likely most likely so when we're concerned about this counter if you're not out yet uh, try to see whether is there any revival point the revival point is one two something around that level okay if you break one oh five tomorrow this counter will definitely come down to 925 uh any more potential to go in don't like that huh? or oh, green packet is not green anymore see the red color already come out bleeding huh? so uh, 
Any more counters? Okay, can you please look at this aluminum counter? LB aluminum. Oh, LB aluminum. Okay, before we go further, you see, I like this counter. You see, you must look for this type counter then you can see the potential. How far your potential can be. Let's take a look at this one. Let's take a look at this one. Go from here and we go upwards. Then we go directly into the game. Okay, I can spot some gaps here. Can spot some gaps. Volume intact. Okay, the volume is here. The volume is inside. That with the drop. There is no volume coming out. That why that's why they push upwards. This is a key reversal point. Uh, with this upwards formation, you have today's trade. Okay, let's take a look here. If your trade tomorrow, uh, okay, uh, I will say this is still potential. Okay, this counter is still potential. If this counter tomorrow, you um, you see for four cents and above. Ah, uh, then hallelujah, this one will go up. Uh, by the way, this counter looks not bad. But uh, frankly speaking, this counter for this Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, next Monday, next Tuesday, next Wednesday will not go up. Most likely will be somewhere around trying to retrace it downwards. You may retrace until at this 41 cents level. Okay, that is good. I let you come down and have a rest, then break out again. Uh, the moment you break out, maybe about next week, say about 43 cents and above, hmm, this is the counter that you wanted to hit hard for a short term. 40 cents, you can afford it. This one, you can hit hard. So that during the short term, you can actually take the advantage of it. Maybe around 49 and a half or 50 cents. This will be the level that you can look at. Why here? Why 495? See? There is a gap here. There is a gap. With the gap at this level, you can actually take the opportunity. Oh, there are more gaps here, you see. Ah, so let's go one by one. You come out and reach here first, then out from the picture. Out from the picture, let's take a look again. Possibility, enter again, enter, then come out the second layer. No need to be afraid if this, if this level is too low. This level is good to trade is your trading method at this at this juncture why because you are trying to recover back to the position at this moment uh, so tomorrow if you see uh 44 cents and above that is actually very bullish uh which i feel unlikely huh? i feel unlikely. it's personal only personal i feel unlikely i would think i prefer wednesday thursday friday come down Line, 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 come down all the way down to 41 cents. Then next week, come down again. Uh, uh. Next week, Monday, Tuesday, come down. Wednesday, show a little bit of sign 42 cents, 41 and a half, somewhere around there. Then Thursday, uh, that Thursday is the moment. Let's celebrate next Thursday. Okay, so this is something that you can take a look at for LB aluminium. Any others? Okay, cool. Yeah, actually, we have. Past the webinar time already, but uh, oh, Derry, yeah. are you okay, oh, to take, okay to take some more questions? Are you okay to take some more questions? If you're okay, then we uh, do a few more case studies. Sure, no problem. Okay, all right, all right, cool. So, um, can you look at uh, Gadang? Okay. Mm. Oh, by the way, I didn't look at my camera, so I do not know what's my expression. I Hopefully, I won't be so awfully sharing you off with the expression that I'm trying to explain. Gadang. Okay. Uh, to look at the chart, it's moving upwards, trying to recover back. Uh, I don't see substantial volume because initially it was here. Nobody throw the, throw the volume out let it cruising all the way downwards like a roller coaster right then try to recover back in position but this volume is not there yet um looking at this 
downtrend, I'm very concerned. I'm very concerned. Uh, it's still in the ICU unit. It haven't come out really. Um, this counter for short term trade looks potential. Yeah, short term is actually what you're looking at, but you are playing with the risk. Okay, this counter with risk. Huh? So what is what is the latest latest target that you can look at? Maybe about fifty five cents. You see whether you have a chance here. Um, let's draw here and move upwards here. Take a look for tomorrow. Tomorrow is forty eight cents, unlikely. Okay, so about forty five and a half. Most likely, this counter will be somewhere around forty seven cents to forty two and a half tomorrow. Okay, it will not go far. Somewhere around 42 cents, I also can accept 42 cents, but with the leg, eh, tomorrow formation of the candle must be the leg touching the 42 cents, not the whole body. Um, then this counter should consider not bad for you to trade uh, short term. I don't see any threat during this short term trade, but most likely you will be able to enter next Monday, not this week. This week will be more on retracement. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday also a little bit difficult. This one could be the Wednesday counter. Wednesday, next Wednesday. So if next Wednesday will be tricky, uh, which I don't like Wednesday counters to go up. If they go up on one, next Wednesday, then most likely this counter will not be able to sustain quite strongly. So in other words, this counter, people like it, but not much investors have confidence in it. Uh, secondly, Short term player, maybe they wanted to siphon out all those short term players. Right? You take away from all the contra players, whatever it is. Uh, you may cruise upwards, cruise upwards. So you, if you buy and hold for maybe two weeks' time, 55 cents should be able to achieve that. Okay, so this I'm looking at may, most likely next week on Thursday, next Monday, or the latest at next Wednesday. Any others? Okay, yes. Can you look at um, GDAX? GDAX. Hmm. See, this boy is talking now. Okay. Downwards, upward. Okay, breaking all the possibilities. Uh, we look over here and this one over here. Okay, I like the volume, volume looking good uh, with the recent spike, volume created nicely. I don't like the gap over here with the potential of closing because this is what happened previously, but it's just a small gap, that's why it closed very nicely and go all the way upwards. Um, tomorrow, if you were somewhere around at truth, it would be somewhere around here, 33 cents to 31 cents or maybe somewhere around 30 cents tomorrow. Thursday, Friday, it may go all the way downwards also. Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. This will be next week counter. Uh, I don't mind you come down and close at this level at maybe... 26 and a half. Close that, that that gap over there. If you close the gap over there, maybe somewhere around this week or maybe next Monday, Tuesday, uh, that consider a good buy, a, a good good potential trading uh, opportunities. Okay? If this is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, where Thursday, you most likely will be looking at about 29 cents break. If next Thursday on 29 cents and above, not bad. This counter is tradable. Okay, GDAX, go ahead. This there, there are much more potential, but provided they close the 26 and a half. Like, if they don't close, they close at 29 cents, what will happen? It's somewhere around like 29 cents, 29 cents, 29 cents. And then let's wait whether you break 30 cents or not. If you break 30 cents next week, then that is the game for you to go upwards. Uh, that 37 cents will be your next tier, okay, your next level, and maybe 43 and a half will be another level, your PB1, PB2 level. Okay, this will be the GDEX. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, let's do one last question. Okay. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, can you look at yeah. me? Uh? Uh, last wait, one. I, uh, okay, what, what counter? Am I? Me? The, me? I thought you were uh, asking me to look at you. No lah. <laughs> <laughs> the AT okay. provider. Today, re- result release. How's the result? The result fundamentally good? Yeah, good, good, good. And good, huh? uh, let's take a look see whether here okay or not. <laughs> hey, something wrong here. Okay, now there are a lot of gaps, uh, but these these are don't these don't consider a, as a gap. Uh. These are not gaps. The only gap is around here. Um, this counter uh, looking not bad is actually on an uptrend, uptrend continuously. Uh, volume substantial, very good volume that you can see here. You can see here. All these are substantial. No doubt there are some exiting count, uh, exiting volumes here, but um, not a big issue because they, they actually recover back the positions there. Um, looking into your short term trade for these me counters and maybe two ringgit and eighty one cents to two ringgit and eighty nine cents or two ringgit ninety cents level. Okay, you can look into that. Let's take a look, see whether tomorrow how's the performance for this counter. Okay, it will give you tomorrow to decide. This counter could be Thursday counter. Uh, this coming soon. Huh? So tomorrow, if this counter will be somewhere around here, two ringgit and thirty four cents to two ringgit and twenty seven cents or twenty six cents. Okay, two two six, two three five, two three four, somewhere around here. Then you are in good position. I prefer Thursday. Don't go up again. Don't go. Thursday, stay good. Uh, around this range or so. Friday, don't go up. Okay, still maintain here. Then next Monday, two ringgit thirty three cents shoot up. Then that is the counter that you can actually look into cruising upwards to maybe somewhere around two ringgit and sixty plus to maybe two ringgit and eighty cents. Okay, this is a good counter. Um, most likely it will happen on Thursday. But I prefer it would not happen on Thursday. I prefer it go up on Monday. If it go up on Monday, as what we predicted, saying that tomorrow is somewhere around two, three, four, two, two, six, somewhere around there, you're good. You're good. Two, three, four, and above, then oh yeah, this one you have to chase. Uh, oh, I'm a bit lazy to chase these on counters. Uh, but if your range somewhere around during my range, uh, Thursday and Friday also, and then next Monday, this is a strong counter that you can actually opt for, provided it should not break this line. Okay, provided it should not break the support line. Okay, this and this draw one line to gauge. You just gauge like that. Ah, right? One, two, three touches. Draw one line, do not break that line. You break that line, difficult. Okay. This will be me. All right. Okay. I hope, All right. Great. I hope I explain detail enough. Uh, I'll pass it over to you, Shane. Yeah. Thank you very much, Derek. Now I'm sure that many of your questions uh, may not get answered yet because just imagine there are 500 of you on the line right now, and each you just imagine one person ask one question, there are 500 questions already, and some of you here ask five, six questions, you know, five, six stocks to look at, so they are just uh, virtually impossible to answer all, all, all to, to cover all stocks, so please uh, bear with us because we only have very limited time, so I, I try to ask uh, the stocks that many have asked in the, uh, in the chat box, all right? So yeah, so I hope that you have learned the techniques 
behind how uh, how Derek dissect the chart. So not only you have to look at the the, the entry price and the take profit and then the stop uh, the stop loss point, but you also need to understand you know the rationale behind why he made the decisions that he made. All right. So let me just take over the control as the presenter to tell you what is next. All right. So Thank you, just Shane. give me a minute. Yeah. All right. So you be, should be able to see my screen right now. So the next can trade webinar, the topic is the shine of miners because as you know, the uh, Federal Reserve has rolled out unlimited quantitative easing. So this will be bullish for the precious metal. But if you don't want to in, but if you don't want to invest in the gold and silver, because gold and silver do not give you dividend, you can choose to invest in the miners, okay? Gold and silver mining companies. Because as gold and silver price go up, then the mining companies can still give you dividend, okay? Because their margins go up already. So in this webinar, next webinar happening on 25th of June, uh, which we'll talk about the shine of the miners, how to invest in the gold and silver mining companies. We will do the industry exploration to dissect the industry for you so you know uh, how you can invest, how to pick a good mining company in the uh, in the US. Okay. Of course, we also have mining companies outside of US. So in this session, we will discover that. So please uh, register for this session. I will uh, just give me a minute. Let me just uh, put down this in the chat box for you. Okay, so I'm... Right. Okay, I've just given you the link in the chat box. So you can click on the ring link right now to register for the next webinar which is the shine of miners to attend our next webinar hosted uh, by Kananga featuring uh, PC Wong okay now for those of you who have not had an account with Kananga yet please you can fill up this form to go to the Kananga, uh, Kananga platform to open a country account if you are already uh, you already have a stop broking account and you want to have one more stop broking account you can also consider the signing up one with the kananga a share trading account i will give you the the link later in the chat got chat box All right with that i want to thank everybody for tuning in today thank you so much derek for joining us today to share with us how you dissect charts how you make money from the market using the technical chart things okay thank you derek and thanks everybody for attending the sessions Let me just copy this for you again. To register an account with a Kananga, you can click the, the fill online form to fill up. And then the Kananga, the friendly broker, Kananga will touch base with you. Okay, and uh, the chart nexus software is also available on the Kananga platform. With that, thank you everybody for tuning in today. I wish you the pleasant rest of the day. Bye-bye, this is Shen Chu signing off.